Previously saw on beer and board games. Definitely use that. You know what? You're the hater now, Aaron. Fog oh, face, oh. doing the fog face, doing the fog face. Ooh. All right. Are you a wrongdoer? Do you like to lie and steal and punch people in the face? Well, we're going to teach you a little bit about scruples. Few Horbe, why don't you set us up with our first beer provided today by the Capital Brewery. They gave us beer. Look at this fancy swag. A new mug for me. This thing. It's not boating well for Matt Sloan. If it's not in your area, talk to your local beer distributor and say, Good, put it in the area. You want to see what this does, Matt? Yeah. 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 Do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got to try it. <laughs> I have never felt this alive. I'm wearing the Oktoberfest shirt. Of course, the Oktoberfest. Uh, beer from the Capitol Brewery. This is a real good color on this. I like the golden, deep golden amber. Oktoberfest is always satisfying, and yeah. this is not any different of a case. Warren Pease wants to, us to toast his girlfriend Katie for their two year anniversary. Right. Um, and it's, it's really the first gift he's ever bought her. It is, and he wants us to toast her but insult him. Katie, uh, you certainly are a long suffering girlfriend. And uh, we here at Beer and Board Games appreciate it. So yeah. cheers to Katie. And, and jeers to Warren Pease. Yeah, Warren Pease, you fucking loser. I saw this Warren character, and he was masturbating behind a shrub. Warren Pease, you dick fuck. This is the game of scruples. What's going to happen is we each get five of these question cards. Is there a board? No, there's not. Shut up. Oh, I thought this was Beer and Board Games. You look at your question cards. You figure out one that you want to ask. And then you pick someone in the uh, group who you think will answer whatever answer you have on your answer card. They answer whatever they feel, or they can lie. They can bluff. Scruples! Get them! So I'll choose Matt. Two of your friends have had a bitter argument and they're not speaking. Do you try to get them back together again? It depends on whether or not their friendship was worth anything in the first place. If they were truly good friends and they're arguing about something stupid, then yes, I try to get them back together. If they're just two knuckleheads who are fucking around all day, then I wash my hands. I don't have a card that says two knuckleheads fucking around all day, so <laughs> I guess I win, right? What do you have? Your answer. Depends. Yeah. yeah, you got it. So then you get rid of your question card. Yeah. Okay, this question is for Aaron. Whoa. A friend offers to hook you into pay TV for free. Uh huh. The risk of being detected is slight. Do you tune in? <laughs> Bang! Oh! I knew you'd do it because you're a shady motherfucker. That's not shady. Hey, dog. I can hook you up with some pay TV on the slide. You want to get it on the slippity slide? The sponsor of this round of beers is Debbie Gerton. Not Debbie Gibson. This woman has talent. Debbie and Gerton started the Arab Spring. Gaddafi's death. She actually killed him herself. Stabbed him right up the butt side. Yep. From what I understand. Yep. Debbie Gerton, dictator slayer. <laughs> <laughs> you are the director of the Neighborhood Food Cooperative. Oh, good job. A member. A single mother with four children is caught shoplifting. You suspect she has been stealing for years. Do you press charges? No. Pow! I'm only going to say one thing. If you are the director of a food cooperative, you should never let the fat boys into the food cooperative because when they see food, they go crazy and they just can't stop themselves from eating and rapping. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. How old are you? Uh, 28. I don't think you're old enough to ride this ride. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's Costum's turn. Enough fat boy talk. Aaron. Eh. You have made a prepaid reservation at a luxury hotel. The accommodations are way below your expectations. Never happened. That you would make the reservation or that they would be below your expectations? That <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a turd on the bed. Oh, well. Yeah, whatever. Tired. 
It's not turn down service, it's turd down service. <laughs> you stay one night only. Do you demand your money back for the second night? Wait, what, what did I... What it was a I prepaid do? reservation. Oh, who paid for it? <laughs> who paid for it? <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't fucking pay for it. <laughs> so what's your answer? So There's cockroaches and shit. Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to take that kind of... <clears throat> I said you wouldn't. You asked the wrong person that question. Why would I stay in a shitty hotel like that when I paid all that money? A luxury hotel? Who the fuck would say no? I a homeless you man? <laughs> well, you look like a homeless man. I don't look like a homeless man. You're just a couple notches above a homeless man. Let's be honest. <laughs> look at where you live. Okay, I'm gonna ask this question to Jason. Yeah. Your neighbor in an adjacent apartment building insists on doing yoga nude in full view. Do you complain to your neighbor's landlady? No. At this point in my life, I don't give a shit. And then, then nude yoga with the balls and the down, downward facing dog with an erection. What, it's a male? Doesn't say. Could be a lady. Then obviously no. I guess your answer wouldn't be yes. Why would anyone say yes? There's I a nude know. lady. Man. I would watch any naked woman do anything. Uh, I have a question for Willie Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> will you uh, will you uh, sing us a little song about about uh, nude yoga? When you've got your balls hanging down, make sure you're not downward facing clown. <laughs> you are offered ten thousand dollars to appear nude <laughs> as the centerfold in a national magazine. Do you accept? I would say yes, but only if it was field and stream. I challenge you. So I have 20 seconds. And then Mrs. Yonda over here has 10 seconds. <laughs> I do not think you would appear in any magazine, nude national magazine. I think you're too modest, and you'd be too embarrassed. And you know you would, so fuck you, you liar. Field and stream. You wouldn't appear in field and stream, because only men read that. And that's exactly why I would pose in it, because only men read it, and it would fucking ruin that magazine. And I would bring about their downfall with my nude picture. <laughs> And I would be forever notorious as the nude man who brought down Field and Stream by being in the centerfold. Everyone goes in there to look for fish and deer pictures, and there's a fucking gross 40 year old. Time, time. You're a liar. I was just making it up. You're a habitual liar. He was just making it up. You heard him. You were no, he was just, just making eight. it up. No, oh, he heard you. One, two, three. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> what do I get? Money? You're at a baseball game with your child. An overexcited fan behinds you behinds you begins to you <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey that is inappropriate. <laughs> Stop behind me. Fuck you up. An overexcited fan behind you begins to use abusive language. Do you ask him to quiet down? You're just there with your child. So child, it could right? be you could be sixty years old and the child could be thirty. The child could be a, a mental construct that you and your wife have created in your dysfunctional relationship. <laughs> so it's like this. It's like, uh, ah, ah, oh, God, oh, he, he shit on the ball. He's a cunt. Look at that cunty guy. Cunt. I don't think fans. baseball fans say cunt. Bunt. bunt. They say bunt. <laughs> bunt. Oh, so he was actually saying bunt, but you kept thinking he was saying cunt. You have mental Tourette's. <laughs> You I hear translate. words and interpret them as, as profanity. Like inbound. If that threats. were the case. <laughs> Birdgasm. I don't think birds have orgasms, do they? Chickens don't. You've when tested you, that, haven't when, you? <laughs> okay, Gossam, talk about the beer. This is a Weizen. It's yeah. a Weizen. It's got a bit of a hop kick to it. It's really smooth. A very slight hop kick. I do like the hop kick, but it's got that, it tastes like a Belgian beer. It's got that sweet banana taste. This toast is to Adam Bussy. Yeah! <laughs> Adam Bussy. Fuck you. <laughs> you can't challenge Matt because Matt always. Because Matt always. Because Matt. Game. Matt plays the game. Why does Matt always win? He's just like. Why does Matt have uh, to be on the show? Matt's, Matt's I'd like on to, the show. I, honestly, I'd like to see Matt sit out one of these because his blah blah blah. Makes me fucking fatty and sad. Yeah. I think what what is his problem anyway? He exactly. doesn't get laid at all. No. His dick is the size of a peanut gallery. <laughs> what is, why is he type 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 oh, shit. submit? Uh, uh, <laughs> gonna have another pizza pocket. <laughs> These are the best YouTube comments I've ever seen. <laughs>
Appreciate you should stop it. making people fatty. That's <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> Make sure you're not downward facing clown.